Chris Gorney, Mountain High Adventures. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm in my new home studio, check it out. I just moved to a new place in Northwest Las Vegas near Lone Mountain. And I got a home studio set up where I can do a lot of the filming for my videos now. I'm gonna be using this space for the introductions and some of the talking parts of the videos. Uh, so join me for another fun video here. I'm gonna take you guys on a little tour of the new space. And then at the end of this video, I'm gonna take you guys with me on a scramble across Juniper Ridge and Red Rock Canyon. So stay to the end guys, here we go. little nook and rather than putting an entertainment system in here I thought it would be really cool to hang my bikes on the wall and set it up with some of my race medals and posters and things like that so let me give you guys a quick tour of the space right here I've got my specialized delay road bike this is basically an entry-level aluminum frame road bike on the other side over here I've got my Poseidon Redwood with the purple drops. Uh, this is my adventure bike, guys. I'm sponsored by Poseidon, and uh, I requested this bike specifically. The Drop Bar Redwood is their kind of all around adventure gravel bike. Uh, it's a very sturdy aluminum frame. I love this bike, got it outfitted for a big adventure actually coming up. Um, all kinds of bags. Um, <clears throat> I've got a seat pack actually that's on the floor over here. Um, anyway, this is my Poseidon Drop Bar Redwood Gravel Bike. Let's check out some of the medals we have on the wall. Right here we have our Trails of Glory medal by Desert Dash. Guys, 2000, you see that? December 17, 2016. Trails of Glory was my first ever trail race. I ran the 8K race and it felt like an ultra marathon at that point in my running career. Eight kilometers was really far. I actually had to walk on the uphills in that race. Um, it was really difficult, um, but first race medal ever hanging here on the wall. And then up above here, we've got our Tushers Mountain Runs, August 1st, 2020, 100K finisher medal. Uh, super proud of that one. That was probably like the biggest mountain run I had ever done to that point in time when I did that race. And uh, that gave me the confidence to one day attempt a hundred miler. Really proud of that 100K finish at Tushers. Hey guys, if you like outdoor adventure videos, trail, ultra running, and mountain climbing, go ahead, smash that red subscribe button over there in the corner. Also, give this video a like or a thumbs up and share it with one of your friends who you want to get into trail running and mountain climbing. Uh, we got another Desert Dash medal here. This one was from Beginner's Luck in 2017, April 8th. Uh, this was the second trail race that I ever did. Also felt like an ultra marathon. 11 miles uh, is what I ran at that race. Ridiculously long. Um, but that really kind of catapulted me into those double digit miles and eventually more ultra distance stuff. Up above here, we've got another race medal by Desert Dash. This was Blood, Sweat and Beers, 50K. Uh, check that out, third place male, guys. Podium finish at that race. Really proud of that. Made, uh, I think that was the first podium I made in an ultra. So third place there, Blood, Sweat and Beers in Bootleg Canyon here in uh, like Henderson, Las Vegas area. Okay, let's check out the middle. We've got a poster, another race by Desert Dash, the Red Rock Canyon Ultras. Uh, this was the first year that they did it in 2021, May 8th. Uh, they offered a 50K and a 100K, and I ran the 100K in the very first running of it, and I got, can you see that? Second place male says it on there. Uh, that's also the finisher award, Red Rock Canyon 100K. And the following year, I ran the 50K and I got third place. So a couple more podium finishes, super proud of those. Red Rock Canyon Ultras by Desert Dash, highly recommend the race. 
And last but not least, super proud of my 100 mile buckle from the Wasatch Front 100 mile endurance run. We've got our 100 mile buckle right here in the middle of the home studio. Wasatch, 100 miles, finisher. There will be more 100 milers. We've got one on the schedule in September. Stay with us guys. Um, let's take a quick break for a couple of announcements and then we're gonna head out to Juniper Ridge. I'd like to take a second and thank all my Patreon supporters. Patreon is a platform where artists and creators, video producers can get paid for the work that they produce um, outside of YouTube or any other confines. Uh, it's a place where artists can really flourish and create um, under their own terms and people who enjoy their content and their creations can support them. So I'll put a link down in the description to this video to my Patreon page. I really appreciate the support there. Okay guys, let's head out to Red Rock Canyon for a fun adventure across the Juniper Ridge. Here we go. Okay, just pulled into the exit parking lot of the Scenic Loop Drive in Red Rock Canyon. It's 4.33 in the morning and my car says it's 54 degrees. We're gonna run into Juniper Canyon. Stay with me, I'll start filming when the sun starts coming up. Okay, we're in here in the mouth of Juniper Canyon. I run 2.84 miles, 843 feet of vert in 50 minutes. Uh, not super fast. Um, I always get sort of tripped up coming in Juniper Canyon here. It's a little tricky to find the path of least resistance. Um, but we're on the trail now and uh, we're working our way up. Stay with me. Okay, we're getting up in here in Juniper Canyon. Uh, starting to get light out, finally. Uh, I'm almost below Rainbow Wall. Hold up, I'll get you a view. All right, there it is with the Mojave Glow, the Rainbow Wall. Check out this Mojave sunrise. Okay, headed up into the Gunsight Notch. Uh, we're in the upper reaches of Juniper Canyon. There's Gunsight Notch right up there. I think there's a little rope here. We're gonna scramble up through there, hit Gunsight Notch Peak, and then we're gonna scramble the Juniper Ridge over to Juniper Peak. So stay with me guys. This ridge line is one of my favorites in the entire region. Okay, we're all the way up in the notch. This is Gunsight Notch. We got maybe like 30 feet to scramble up through here. And we'll pop out. We'll be able to see the top of Terrace Canyon. Okay, that was a fun little scramble. Sounds like it's windy right here in the notch. Check out this tree. Let's see. Oh yeah, a little bit of a breeze. Terrace Canyon down there. And we're gonna go up here to Gunsight Notch Peak. See what's going on. Time for that. I'm gonna be late for work. This ridge line. 
line so good. Check this out. An exposure. Okay, making our way across the Juniper Ridge here. Uh, climb through the crux. There's like a 60 foot crux cliff band. And uh, there's a really nice little fourth class workaround. So we just did that. Views the rainbow wall opened up. We're almost over at Juniper Peak. All right, here we are above Brownstone Wall. Basically at the top of Armatron, right down there. Woo! Some nice exposure. Wow, what a gorgeous morning out here. Holy cow. It was windy over there on Gunsight, but it's nice and calm over here on Juniper. Whew, really enjoying this ridge scramble. Here's the Juniper tree. The Juniper Peak is named after. You know how I know that? Because there's Juniper Peak right there. So, I mean, it's gotta be named after this tree, right? Whew. Nice big summit cairn here on Juniper Peak. Look at that with rainbow wall in the background and me and the cairn, Juniper Peak. Uh, took me exactly two hours to get here. 4.44 miles, 2,600 feet of vert. So I started at the exit of the Scenic Loop Drive. I ran in, there's a connector trail that runs in from the exit to North Oak Creek inside the park. It's like a, a mile across the desert, pretty direct. Ran that into North Oak Creek. Then I took the Arnite Trail over here toward the mouth of Juniper Canyon. Um, our night eventually hits, kind of hits the knoll for a second, and then it hits the approach trail that goes in here to Juniper Canyon. Um, got off trail kind of as I got into the mouth of the canyon, but scrambled all the way up Juniper Canyon, below Rainbow Wall, all the way up through Gunsight Notch, and then uh, hit Gunsight Notch Peak. And then we just traversed the Juniper Ridge to Juniper Peak, and here we are. Amazing perch here on the top of the Escarpment in Red Rock Canyon. Sun just came up, beautiful Mojave sunrise. Life doesn't get any better than this, guys. Really, this is it. Being up here on the mountains, early in the day, perfect conditions. Wow, pretty lucky. Pretty lucky to have all this. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can get back to the trailhead in an hour. I'm trying to make this about a three hour round trip. I gotta get to work. Um, I started super early this morning so that I could do this whole ridge traverse before work. Stay with me guys, I'll film a little bit on the way out. This is gonna be fun. Okay, we just dropped off top of Juniper Peak. There's brownstone wall up above me now, running down these slabs. This is pretty fun, it's like running on the moon. Woo! Rainbow wall up there. Woo! All right, back to the technical scramble. Okay, just ran out of Juniper Canyon. I was hoping to go under three hours, car to car this morning. Uh, it's gonna be real close. Don't think I'm quite gonna make it, but I left myself a bit of a cushion to get to work, so we're gonna be good. Cobblestone.
super tech for Breck. Okay, let's go back here to the exit parking lot. We did it 259.30 round trip car to car. Just under three hours, we did. Juniper Canyon, Gunsight Notch, Gunsight Notch Peak, Juniper Ridge, Juniper Peak, and then the standard walk off Juniper and ran it back out. We got 8.2 miles, 2,700 feet of vert, all on a Monday morning before work, guys. That's how to do it. Mountain high. Peace. Back to you in the home studio, Chris. Okay guys, thanks again for tuning in to Mountain High Adventures on YouTube. That's gonna wrap up this episode. Many more adventures to come. Thanks for checking out my new home studio with me and running across the Juniper Ridge. And we'll catch you on the next one. In a man!